Hello. I pray that you're well today. Are you falling apart? You know, as I get older, my knees make noise. You know, as I walk downstairs, I can hear my knee making a noise. It's kind of an interesting concept. The scripture uses this language. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Therefore, we don't throw in the towel. Therefore, we don't give up. Therefore, we don't quit. We don't stop. We don't lose heart. But through our outer man is decaying. But though our outward we're decaying, we, we are decaying. Yet our inner man is being renewed day by day. So we don't lose heart even though we are getting older and falling apart and we don't have strength. We don't get stronger as we get older, generally speaking. Over time, we have difficulty walking and we have difficulty running and we have difficulty lifting. And, and so the, with advanced years, we have more difficulties. Our outer person is being decayed, but our inner man is being renewed day by day. For our momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory far beyond all comparison. So whatever we're dealing with now is momentary compared to eternity. And it's light and compared to the truth we're going to receive in eternal weight of glory, far beyond all comparison. I want you to think for a moment about heaven. I want you to think for a moment about the people you know that believed and trusted in Jesus Christ and now they are in eternal life. What a beautiful image to think about them in the fullness of joy. While we look not at the things that are seen, but things that are not seen, for the things that are seen are temporal. The things that are in front of us are temporal. They go away. But the things that are not seen are eternal. What are we building our life on? What are we building our life around? What are we investing in? What do we believe is important? For the things that are seen are temporal. But the things that are not seen are eternal. Job said these words. I know that my Redeemer lives and that he shall stand in the latter day upon the earth. Though after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. You know, it's a beautiful hymn. I know that my Redeemer lives. I know that my Redeemer lives. Can't you just hear it as if it's Easter morning? I know that my Redeemer lives and that in my flesh, my new spiritual body, I will see God. It is a confidence of the resurrection. It is a confidence of eternal life. It is a confidence that why we do not lose heart. Even if we are fallen apart, we don't lose heart. Because the resurrection of Christ says, I know that my Redeemer lives. And I know that I shall receive that gift given. Please pray with me. Lord God, give us encouragement in this day. Though even though there are difficulties all around, and even though there are things that people are listening to my voice right now who have struggles, struggles beyond what they really want or desire, but we don't lose heart. For our momentary and light affliction is producing an eternal weight of glory, and for that we honor you. May we think about things that are eternal, and not things that are just temporal. And we make the confident statement of the resurrection. We know that my Redeemer lives. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. So even if you feel like you're falling apart, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is a confident reality that in your flesh, in your new spiritual body, you will see God. That is your confidence. God bless you today.